Shay. Just o- overall thoughts on tonight's game leading up to the showdown with Duke. Uh, I thought, you know, I thought we played pretty well. You know, we shot it pretty good. And it took care of the basketball for the most part. And, you know, statistically, we did some good things, but I don't know. You know, that may be a little bit, uh, you know, uh, unbalanced because they missed some wide open shots too. But I thought Dope protected the rim better. I thought there were some good things that happened. Coach uh, Coach Anderson said he was impressed by the way you guys moved the ball tonight. You agree? I, I, I thought against the man we did better. Against the zone we didn't do as well. And the matchup kind of messed with us. We hadn't worked, really worked against the matchup much. But uh, I thought we did some good things. Uh, uh, you know, when we had that, that first group in there that got off to a good start, I would have liked to have probably seen them play another three or four minutes together because they were on a pretty good roll. Uh, uh, and it seemed like to me when we sub, especially with, with the four perimeter players or, you know, Jalen, Christian, and Tristan, and, and Isaiah, it seemed like to me the ball just didn't move quite as crisply as it did before. But overall, I thought it was, I thought it was fine. Yeah, but what about getting Isaiah those few minutes? Yeah, uh, I was told he could play up to 10, and it just didn't work out like that. But, uh, you know, one thing about it, we know if he's, if he's got a crack, he's going to shoot it. So, uh, you know, that's for sure. But, yeah, I, I thought it was good to get him out there, and, and uh, you know you can tell by watching him he's not running full speed and stuff, and and uh, but he didn't hurt himself tonight. And, uh, you know I hope that he's available to us on on Tuesday, but if he's if he's not able to practice Sunday and Monday at least, and and, and go close to full speed, then I'm not going to anticipate having him on Tuesday. Bill, what did you think about uh, how David played tonight? Well, he played well. Yeah, you know he didn't play as much. He and Silvio, but. It's because we try to play everybody, but I thought he played well. I, I thought, you know, those David tries so hard, and 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 uh, you know, it's not as easy to play with two guys that want to play close to basket all the time like he and Dope. But yeah, I, I thought David did some good things, and he's a good shooter from 15 foot. And we saw that, you know, early on. Or was that the second half where he made the shot from 15? Yeah, but he's a good shooter. Good. I know just exhibition, two exhibitions, uh, but his. Uh, Doke's free throw, something is free throw shooting something that you want him to work on between now and Tuesday, knowing he's going to obviously see a lot of pressure and you know, get a lot of fouls and free throw attempts? Uh, Doke's worked on it between when he first got here and today. Mm-hmm. So working on it between now and Tuesday isn't going to solve the, the issues. What, 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 it, what can hopefully solve it is, you know, he just, he just got a mental block, you know, uh, uh, with it. And so... Um, you know, we got to do something. I got to do something to help him with that. So, uh, but, but you know, he, he makes them in practice, and it looks different in practice and in games. You know, obviously, it's got a totally different different feel to it. But yeah, that's that's going to be a concern each and every game. And you know, just without saying, you know, with, with, with just stating the obvious is, you know, late game situations. What do you do? So. so uh, uh, because he's got to be able to make at least 50 percent, or they're just going to, you know, hack a shack him every time. And, and uh, you know, he's as strong as he is. He's going to, he, you know, people aren't going to, uh, uh, you know, just give up layups. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll try to make sure that that, that uh, he has to earn them. And, and uh, uh, you know, that's just something he's got to do. I, I still believe he's going to do it, and it's too early to to push the panic, panic button on everything. But but it's it's certainly uh, uh, something that. We need to get better at for sure. Free throws aren't something. Well, you know, you know the movie Blue Chips when they weren't signing anybody and said we're going to stay here all night and recruit until we get somebody. That's not exactly how recruiting works, and that's not exactly how free throw shooting works either. As you know, but he he should shoot you know 500 a day for the next for the next few days. Bill, uh, can you just speak to having one through four in New York on Tuesday and, and your thoughts on Duke? Well, I, you know, I haven't, you know, I've, I've seen Duke the same way they've seen us, and, and uh, uh, certainly last night uh, the score was very impressive, and they, and they, they, they turned, they turned over the team they played, uh, not only by making them throw it out of bounds, but they stole the ball. I think they had double figure steals the first half, which is hard to do. So, you know, they're they're really aggressive and active, and and uh, uh, certainly, uh, you know. They're going to be terrific, and and you know I just hope they're not terrific at our expense. You know we all saw what they did last year in the in the champions. Uh, uh, of course, it's a totally different team then, but they still have the same 
point guy running everything, and they're, they're going to be they're going to be a team that has a chance to win a national championship uh, uh, and, and be in the game. I certainly hope we are too. But I would anticipate all four teams playing uh, on Tuesday night by the end of the season could all could all be uh, serious contenders. What what do you think of that point guard matchup? I think it'll be a good one. You know, two speed guys and and uh, uh, you know Trey. Uh, of course, I've known him a while because we recruited Tyus so hard. But 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 Trey is a is a great leader and a terrific point guard. And he's fast and active and those sorts of things. And and, and Devon has a lot of the same physical characteristics. Uh, uh, so so it, it'll be a, it'll be an interesting matchup. The thing about it is they pressure so much and they have. But you know that's also what Devon's good at is attacking pressure too. So so it'll be interesting to see how how those two kind of. Uh, uh, you know, try to handle each other and keep each other in front and those sorts of things. Is, is that the type of matchup or game that Devon lives for? Well, I think it's a type of game that all players that play college basketball want to be a part of. And, and I think that when, when, uh, when, you're, when you're trying to evaluate and it's so uh, uh, unclear on, you know, who's the best lead guard in the country and there's six or seven viable candidates, uh, uh, you know, I, I think that any time you get an opportunity to go against one of those other candidates, I think you want to be your best. So, but it's not it's not Devon versus Jones. It's Kansas versus Duke, and and uh, you know I'm sure both players will will uh, will certainly uh, uh, be told that and, and know that going into Tuesday. Hey, but what have you thought of uh, Ochai's shooting form since he returned in the summer? Yeah, he's yeah he's shot it extremely well. I mean, it's. Uh, uh, tonight he looked pure, you know, and, and uh, hope we can bottle that. And you know, the other night I think he was three for nine, but started out about one for five or six, and but he kept shooting, and and, and that's that's so good to see. He's such a good athlete, and you know, and he'll, he'll be able to drive the ball better if people have to crowd him, and, and uh, I think that that was you know great to see.